Okay, here's a quick video on how to use TurboScan on your Android phone to upload your score sheets to Oahu APA. So, first thing you want to do is if you uh, don't already have it, you want to go to Google Play Store um, and you're going to, I already have it installed on my phone, but you want to go to TurboScan Document Scanner. It'll give you this. And then you're just going to, uh, this will say install. So you'll install it onto your phone. Uh, once you do that, you'll have an icon on your phone where you can access the TurboScan app on my phone. It's right here. So I just access it. Um, so it gives you a couple of different options here. Um, what you want to do is hit on camera and then it'll pretty much give you this sheet here. Um, you want to get it into your screen so that it all fits within there. Um, and then you're just going to kind of hold it steady. Take the picture. Now you can see that um, it brings up the document and if I want to adjust the frame then I can just move it like this and it makes it pretty simple where I can put it so that only the documents in there. I don't want the table surface included on the, that document. So once you have it where you want it, you're going to hit that little check box there. Um, and then, see here if I can get this to focus. You don't want to be on photo, you want to be on BW, black and white. Um, if you want to change the contrast on it, you can click on the bottom, it'll make it lighter or darker. Uh, I recommend the one right before the darkest. Um, now in nine ball, you want to do both sides. So here's the front and you're going to just kind of turn your document over and you can leave it in portrait um, style. So on here I'm just going to click the little plus button. It saves it and it opens the camera again. And then the same thing, I'm going to try and get the document completely within. And you can do it from any height. Um, get it completely within there. So I've taken that picture and see the frame automatically adjusted. But if it wasn't where I wanted it to be and include the whole sheet, I can always go to adjust frame and I can make any changes that I want to here. Um, but it's okay, so I'll hit the checkbox. Uh, and then as soon as you have the two sides there, you want to go to next. Now it's showing me the two pages. I can see that. But it also gives me the option here to uh, edit. Now I would say you want to go to document name and change that document and just like we discussed at the meeting you want to put in your team number so for this sample document it's team 02106 and then you want to add the session and year so it's summer 2016 and then, of course, you want to add the week, week one. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just renaming the document. You can see that there. And then you're going to click on OK. Now you can see that the name of the document has changed. You can add the date stamp to your um, file name automatically, and that's a good idea so I know when it was scanned. Uh, all right, then you just want to back out. Uh, now I'm going to go to the Share button here. And I'm going to send it as a PDF. Send it as a PDF. So it's from, this is my account already. And I'm going to send it to Oahu APA. It's already got the uh, file name as the subject. So pretty simple here. Now I'm just going to click send. And it says right there, it's sending the message. Uh, once it's done, I go to close, and then there it shows up on my documents. So I can just pull it up and look at it. And then now I can print it, or look at it, or expand it, or whatever I need to do to get to that document. So this is all for uh, the Android phone, but it's pretty similar for the iPhone. Uh, it may look a little different on the application, but the functionality is all the same. So good luck and uh, happy scanning.